my dear students a hearty welcome to you all in today's english class today you will be watching an interesting poem titled the best of schools written by d h lawrence school life is the most important part of life and a treasure of memories school is a six letter word where you have millions of memories and where you groom up develop learning from your past mistakes with zero regrets with utmost love and care from your teachers and happiness from your friends let's look at the introduction of the poet who is a novelist a poet and a writer of short stories he belonged to a poor middle class family some of his notable works were short stories written that were very popular that is the renowned the rocking horse winner the beast and nature the blinds are drawn due to the sun rays and the students inside look colorless and dark the blind refers to some some kind of shade it's a kind of shade used at the windows so the view looks like marine creatures floating in the dark under sea area that is lit up by sunlight bright ripples the word ripples refers to waves bright waves run across the wall as the blind as the blind is blown up the teacher sits at the corner watching his students wearing their summer uniform and whose heads are busy writing down they raise their heads with ponder and think with curiosity to receive the knowledge they wait to acquire the word ponder here refers to think the students wait and they think as they are eagerly waiting for to attain new knowledge to acquire the knowledge given by the teacher in this stanza the teacher says the student is glad to have found what he or she was looking for the teacher is in his best mood no doubt he would prefer to keep that mood all all the day the teacher is well connected with the students and he is very sensitive and the sensation is like a stream of awakening where knowledge flows from the teacher to the students whose brightening souls washes or cleanses for the little hour the word lives here refers to washes or cleanses so these students who are eagerly waiting to acquire knowledge these bright souls these innocent souls they are eagerly awaiting to acquire knowledge at the time when they come to school to a to acquire knowledge and wisdom so for this little r refers to the time they spend in the school the poet further adds by saying that the morning is sweet and the lads look like like look like lights on me the word lads refers to boys and the lad who are writing from time to time look up at the teacher trying to think of the right word everyone is darting the word darting refers to discovering they are discovering every day something new
so something new they would like to discover and know and get uh, and attain something like the new birds who would steal and flee the word flee refers to run away so these children are eager they are excited to learn new things so their knowledge has been compared to that of the bird who would steal the food and would run away from there touch after touch i feel on me as their eyes glance at me for the grain of the taste delightedly rigor the speaker that is the teacher takes each look personally and the children are eager and excited to acquire the grain of rigorness they are very cautious to attain knowledge delightfully as the teacher teaches them let's look at the last paragraph as trend as tendrils reach out yearningly slowly rotate till they touch the tree so as the tendrils tendrils are curling stems they are the curling stems as you can visualize this tendril the vine tree it's it's curled so so are the tendrils they reach out for support and growth as they rotate and cling to a tree similarly are the children they would cleave and cling to the teacher for gaining knowledge and support as a vine does at the last the poet says that he enjoys being in the company as it thrills him as he spends most of his time for being with them so this is what the poet in the end he is very excited to be with the children sharing his knowledge imparting his knowledge and it thrills him it excites him and he remembers his childhood and this is way the poet recollects his childhood these childhoods are the best days or the school days are the best days of one's life students i hope you have thoroughly enjoyed watching the video and understand have you, you have clearly understood the poem as well if you have any doubt you can come in the class and you can just raise your doubt as well thank you students for patiently hearing and listening to the video bye bye and take care and god bless you all